Welcome to United by Trucks. Today we're back at Level 7 Motorsports. We're actually in Jesse's backyard and we're checking out a thousand horsepower 70 C10 that is just, man, just so cool. Y'all stay tuned. Editing Robbie here. I realize that you're probably going to get a little confused as we move through this video. So I want to let you know we've got a couple of scene changes. So we're going to start right here early May 2020 when we were up at Level 7 Motorsports with Jesse. And then we're going to transition to more present day when we're out at Dino's. We do an interview with the actual owner of the truck after this interview with Jesse. And we go to the owner's house, Shane Garrison, and shoot some cool rolling footage of this truck. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. There's so much information to be gleaned uh, from the interviews about this truck. We wanna make sure that we put them all in one place for you. And if you haven't checked out the full feature in CK Truck Mag that Barry and I put together, you definitely wanna go check out the March issue of CK Truck Mag. Go subscribe and definitely check out that March issue so you can see all the photos in print of this truck and check out a little bit more of the specs on this build. So let's jump back in on the video, Capone, 1,000 horsepower C10. Here we go. You ready to talk about the sun, Captain Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> we are back with Jesse at Level 7 Motorsports. We have been here for a couple of days and if you can't tell by some of the previous videos you've seen, we have been taking a look at some really, really awesome trucks. <laughs> and some really awesome products that Jesse has his hands on. So a couple things to talk about before you install the pedal assembly in the truck. That are, that are coming out to you guys for consumption. So we're really super happy to bring this kind of content to you. But today we are probably looking at one of my, I would say most anticipated trucks to film. We have mm -hmm. been talking about this truck for the last couple of weeks. Obviously it's all over the internet, but Tell us a little bit about what this is. So we've put it on YouTube a little bit and it's been our inst on our Instagram page. and people, Which is what? Level 7 Motorsports. Sweet. Yeah. Go check them out on YouTube. But people are into it. It's raw. You know, it's really original, raw, but it's got an awesome chassis. 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower. I mean, just think about that, guys. That is four digits. And I know I say that a lot when we talk about you know, high horsepower LS motors. But once you get into that fourth digit, and you can obviously talk about this much more than I can, but once you get into that fourth digit, it is a, it's just a different game. I oh, mean, it's yeah. an entirely yeah. different yeah. animal. It's an yeah. entirely different type of budget. I mean, it's, it's, just a, it's just a different thing. Yeah, a big truck with 200 horsepower feels like a big truck. Yeah. But a big truck with a 1,008 horsepower doesn't feel like such a big truck anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you can toss it around. Feels a little bit like a toy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's nimble. <laughs> nimble, that's a great way to say it. What year is the truck? So this one's a 70. A yep. 70 C10, it's medium olive. Yeah. It's got all the great patina. It's also got some really cool, you know, motorsports, autocross yeah. type. Yeah. You know, features to it. But before we jump into all that, I really want to point out, or at least ask you to point out, um, what's been going on with some of the, the paintwork right here in the door yeah, and the fender so, section. So y'all notice it is not together. And it has been together. So last last summer, last fall, we gave it back, we built the truck, gave it back to Shane, the owner. He drove it all fall, drove it all winter, and then uh, we call this like version two, right? Yeah. So, or or 1.2, whatever. Capone 1.2. Yeah, Capone 1.2. <laughs> yeah. So there's always like the R&D period that comes after the build process. Yeah. So, you know, the things that are like, is there noises, is there rattles, is there vibrations, do I need more power, do I need more brakes, all that stuff. Yeah. You figure out after 1,000, 1,500 miles. And that's what version 1.2 is. So Shane's the owner. Shane comes from a background of motorsports. So yeah. he's got some vintage Porsches that he does some road racing with. His home track is Road America. Him and his son do kart racing. So like they are, yeah. right? They're he, into he, this. he can drive, he can drive, right? <laughs> yeah. So he drove it this winter and together we're like, okay, well to push it this year, like we need to like really from, from like off the shelf, we need to like step up a few things. Yeah. And that's the rear ends, real deal race race car brakes. This whole build process has been like, let's take this truck to 10 tenths yeah. all the way around. And the body had some problems that needed addressed. And that's why the truck is apart right now is that this cab was not the original cab. Okay. The the hood and fenders and the bed, at some point this truck got a different cabin doors. Okay. So there was a body shop in Chicago that did the doors and the cab and they looked like they matched okay, mm -hmm. but we needed the doors and the cab and this fender to like look really good. Mm -hmm. So that's when we call Boris at Street Machinery, 
you know, he uses Jerome. Sure. Jerome just did all the paint on this truck and uh, fine job. Out. Yeah, so actually, um, and we'll get an up close shot of this so you yeah. don't have to worry about that. But this, I mean, it looks amazing. Don't judge, but you know, like we just threw the louvers in the hood and we put the raw aluminum rivets in it. We'll come back and touch all that stuff up later, but uh, we wanted to show everybody what this truck can look like when it's back together. We're gonna go from the ground up, talk about what the chassis is, yep. and then let's talk about what the wheels and tires are. Yep. So this is a common question, especially about this truck. And so this truck's on a no limit chassis. Uh -huh. It's a non-raised rail chassis, so stock bed floor chassis. Okay. It's as low as it can go right now. It's got a Flaming River Race rack and pinion in it. It's got uh, Ride Tech single adjustables all the way around it. Very cool. Yeah, uh, sway bars front and rear. Chris Wagner built supercharged LS3. It wow. made like a thousand and eight horsepower on 15 pounds of boost on 93 octane. So wow. again, Bowler did a level two built T56 Magnum in this truck. DSE Gear FX, uh, nine inch full floater rear end. It's got push button start and AC and Bluetooth and you know, it's got the stuff where you can really drive it to work if you wanted to. One of the big wow. things that we do uh, or like to do is uh, to make that race car feel is the push button start. And uh, this truck, you know, you hit the left button and it's kind of the key on. And that's what kind of boots up the system. And then you, obviously, I don't know if you could, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not, but oh, yeah, uh, you'll hear it. we take all the original radios and uh, we send these out and we have, um, modern guts put in them. So uh, this now is not only AM, but AM, FM, and then it's got voice activated Bluetooth. So, you know, really, if you're driving uh, in traffic in Chicago, you know, you can pull this open, the microphone's in there, and you can say, hey Siri, uh, call mom, you know, or call my wife or whatever. And you can have a, a, a conversation with your wife on the phone. Uh, another cool feature is that if your wife calls you on your way home from work, if you want to accept the call, you flip the tuner to the right. Oh, no, that's cool. If you want to decline the call, you flip the tuner to the left, and it'll decline the call. Yeah, we would never do that to our wives never. or our moms. Never. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, it's got all the amenities of a modern vehicle, right? So voice-activated Bluetooth. It's got uh, Wrestle Mod Air, uh, HVAC. Uh, obviously like the standard nowadays, Dakota digital gauges. It's got a Holly Dominator that runs the engine and we got a little three and a half inch display. So what we have displayed on this one is intake air temp, boost, air fuel, fuel pressure. And we can kind of come in here and we can uh, set lows and highs so that if he's on a road course and any of these one thing, in any one thing turns red, he knows he's kind of out of boundary and he needs to chill out a little bit. He wanted race car manual brakes. And so we did wheel wood pedals and did a heel plate uh, to rise the heels. And Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite things inside mm -hmm. the interior. It's just, it caught my eye immediately. His theory with this entire truck was if a guy that did Trans Am series back in the 70s had a C10, you know, what are some of the things he would do? And, you know, he would fabricate aluminum block off panels and, you know, half pedals. And, you know, so that's kind of the you know the theory that he had and kind of what we tried to follow when we, when we put the truck together so we did a a little a little harness bar in this uh, we make these out of chromoly they're all tig welded it's got a uh a, a fire suppression system back here so he can pull this quick release and pull the fire extinguisher if he needs to on a racetrack um if you paid attention there's uh provisions in the front and the back of the truck for tow hooks so you know, that's being compliant with uh, Optima Series rules or other organizations that have rules for tow hooks. Well, I think you've got the uh, the interior dialed on this one. I mean, it looks it looks really, really cool. So thanks Thank for you. letting us take a look at it. Yeah. Let's go check out under the hood. Okay. All right, Jesse, I'm sure there are going to be tons of questions about what's going on on this hood. But yeah. give, us a, give us a little rundown of what, what's happening here. Yeah, so uh, in racing, you have to have a secondary latching system. So this truck has two latches or, or hood pins, but uh, yeah, you just flip those up, they're arrow catches, and then uh, it can come up like normal. That's a... Uh, wee Yeah. Kind of looks like an old screen porch with the, uh, the louvers in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now you can get a good look at the Wegener LS3. Again, you can see on the firewall, rest of my hair, uh, billet bulkhead. Uh, Which is such a nice piece. Man, every, such a everything nice piece. they make, has attention to detail and, and a high quality standard. Yeah. Uh, so we really like using all their products. Manual brakes on this truck. Uh, you can see this one has a hydraulic master on the outside of the firewall for the clutch. Well, it is mighty clean. Yep. It looks like you got the things you need to make it yep. 
do what it needs to do. So some of the stuff you see up here under the in front of the core support, uh, we get a lot of questions about this too. Like what are what are these? The right one here is a canister for radiator overflow, so that if this cap pops open, it burps into this can. And then this is the reservoir for the cooling system for the supercharger. Oh, cool. So roof style blowers have a, a heat exchanger or radiator that's under the blower and uh, they're water cooled. So there's an electric pump that pumps water uh, through the heat exchanger in the front. And then there's a tank here that has capacity for extra water in it. Sort of the icing on the cake to make that complete package. I gotta say it's the wheels and tires. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what this setup is. Yeah. So these are young blood racing wheels. They're very polarizing. We either get comments to say they love them, they yeah. gotta know what they are, or they hate them. Yeah. <laughs> Shane is into vintage Porsches, and you know, uh, back in the day, a lot, of, a lot of vintage road race cars, no matter what, had gold BBSs on them. Yeah. And uh, this is just kind of one of those throwback things for when you when you built a real deal race car back in the day, it was yeah. common to see a gold BBS wheel. That's really, so really cool. So this is just kind of one of them things that completes the package for him. Uh, I think so too, and I think yeah. it's what really makes the truck stand out and when you you know particularly as someone who's just seen it on instagram until the last couple of days it's what makes you remember the truck or at least it's what makes oh, me yeah. remember the me truck too yeah is that yep. you know these gold wheels they've got this really you know giant lip all the way around they're a 19 11 and a half in the front and a 19 12 and a half in the back thanks for showing us around this truck man i really appreciate yeah. it thanks for, awesome. thanks for showing it <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here at Dino's Get Down 2020. This is the first interview of the day and really one I'm super excited about. Obviously, you can see earlier in this video, we brought you a little bit of the build footage. We talked with Jesse from Level 7, who is the builder on this truck, and uh, you, you really got to see a little bit of behind the scenes. But now, we're here in Arizona. We're with Shane, the actual owner of the truck. Man, thanks so much for uh, doing, taking Good time to, to talk to me about it. So. Tell us a little bit about this truck, man. What was the uh, what was the genesis for the build? So we, you know, I've had 150 cars, trucks, kind of thing. So um, from pro touring to race cars, for our, all the stuff, right? And just kind of got the itch to build a patina truck and fought this really for the body. Sure. And the guy had spent some time going through it. So my son and I basically took to the shop, took it off off the frame, just set the body aside, sold everything else. Wow. Got on the phone with Jesse, kind of spec the chassis with no limit. So ordered the motor from Wegner in Wisconsin. I spent some time in the shop on the body. You know, we welded the cowl up and everything, tried to get it ready for the LS. Wow. And then basically sent it down to Jesse. And a little better than a pile of parts. But, a little better know, than a pile not, of parts. Not much, right? Well, I think Trailing it's cool. It down. I think it's really cool that that you you actually did some of the work, you know, yourself, and yeah. like really got to know the truck a little bit more, and, and really figured out, you know, hey, this is this is the look I'm going for. You know, got the original paint, got the patina, but I think the heart and soul, if I may, absolutely you know, project man. what I think is, is happening with this truck is really in suspension, drivetrain, wheel and tire setup. So give us a little bit of an idea of what's going on, you know, on the wheel and tire package and, and with the suspension. Yeah. As well. So it was always a function over form, right? And you can see it in the truck. I wanted to aesthetically, outside the patina, feel kind of like 70s Trans Am, right? So you can see we got one mirror on it, like an old Trans Am car. A lot of the holes we just we put aluminum over, right? Um, but as far as the chassis goes, no limit Protec 2 setup. It's got a full flow rear end in it. We're running. 335s and 315 setups and get some big tire in the front. 335, 315. Think about that. That is a ton of meat. A ton um, of meat. It, it is. I mean, yeah. she'll grab. Um, even with a thousand horsepower. Right? Yeah. A thousand horsepower? What? A thousand. We'll get to yeah. it, right? A thousand horsepower. All right. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the truck, what I love about this truck is it's so balanced, right? Yeah. I mean, I've had a thousand horsepower cars. This thing is so tossable and balanced, you know. And if you want to drive like a normal car, that's fine. If you want to put your foot a third in it, though, it's going to wake up real quick. <laughs> really I love that. Speaking of that thousand horsepower, it's about to motor and drive train. Yeah, absolutely. It's a Wagner built 376, uh, running a 2.9 Whipple. Uh, put down a thousand three horsepower on 93 pump gas. 
So it's it's super drivable, right? We'll look at it, but we're running Rusco Mod Air on this thing. Yeah. Uh, full front drive setup. Big cooling package, right, as you would imagine. Yeah. But like I said, man, Arizona weather. I was driving it this summer, 110 degrees outside. Truck never, ever ran over like one second. No kidding. Yeah. Gosh, man, you gotta love that. Oh, yeah. I think another cool thing about this truck, obviously you built it to drive. You built it to really rip up the road. Maybe even race it a little yeah. bit. Um, I think a, a key component to that is probably that transmission. So what's going on there? Yeah, we got a Bowler Stage 2 in it. Jesse spec'd it uh, yeah. with Bowler. It's dialed in nice because we're on 389 in the back. Yeah. Right, so, so 389? 389. Gear. Okay. Um, so this truck, you know, gets out of old gear point quick. Yeah. Um, but on the highway, you know, I'm running 80 miles an hour and we're running 21, 22, oh, 389. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Do you know what kind of gas mileage this thing gets? I'm just curious. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't know if I want to know. Right, you I'll probably tell don't you what, want to though. know, but I think it's just this, you know, that, that, that would be, you know, I think anybody else's question. Oh, you got a thousand horsepower. Right. You actually drive this thing. What kind of gas mileage you get? But it all built something right like here, this. Right? It's right. all about this. That's right. Yeah. If you built something like this, it really doesn't matter. It does. You know, you're yeah. going to get out there and have a good time. But there's, you know, to your point, I mean, it's 18 gallon tank, and there's days, man, where it feels like I've only been driving about an hour. We gotta, <laughs> right? We got to pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's cool that you can pull up at any gas station and put high octane in it and, and roll. That's you right. Know? That's right. That's really yeah, cool. It's function. Like I said, function. How does it handle not being quite as low as some of the other Pro Touring type trucks? You know, admittedly having never driven kind of a race floor truck, right? I can only speak from this seat, and I would tell you again, have race cars, and tons of cars. This thing, again, is so tossable and yeah. just level, right? It just never feels like it's like gets off from under anyway. Wow. Even you know, I was telling Justin coming around a car at 30, 40 miles an hour and getting into it, it'll drift like uh, you don't have to have a lot of seat time drifting and you probably feel pretty good. No kidding. Yeah. So it's, it's a fantastic it's a very setup. Safe, stable, <laughs> yeah. feeling amount of power it transfer it down through, yeah. the, through that channel. And a lot of just the setup, right? Full floater and yeah. um, a lot of the balancing in the truck. We got running two degrees of camera. I mean, it's just. Just dialed, dialed in. in it's man. dialed in. 1100 miles on it now. Dialed yeah. in. 1100 miles. 1100 miles. I love it. Obviously, when we went to, to level seven and checked it out during the build process, this was this is a truck we I've been sitting on video forever for you guys. So this we filmed the earlier footage you just saw. We filmed that footage. I don't know. It's been months and months ago. Um, but we've been sitting on that footage because we wanted to get back together with you. We wanted All right. To, to come see it in person and hopefully we can get some rolling footage Jesse and I've been talking so maybe we can get together this evening yeah get some rolling footage so if we do that we'll drop it in right here but um, I appreciate your time so much man Thanks, you, Bill, I appreciate you it. and Jesse have built a really really cool thank you, it's, thank you. It's, we love it it's over the top thank so you. thanks so much man. absolutely All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this look into Capone, this awesome 70 C10 boosted, no limit chassis, really, really cool wheel and tire setup. This thing is so cool, and obviously, it lives in a really awesome setting. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this footage. You know, it's kind of special for me being a Georgia boy. I don't get to come out west much, and seeing this kind of landscape, and seeing a truck in this kind of landscape, just primo. So. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.